Hey guys, we'll be pushing forward on um, embryologic, uh, embryonic basis of some congenital anomalies, okay? So guys, let's push embryonic basis today. So um, the question is, um, like state the embryonic basis of the following, okay? We have an encephaly or marrow and encephaly, okay? So guys, this is an encephaly or marrow and encephaly. And you could see that this is where the normal score, uh, sorry, that's too big, bro. This is where the normal score is supposed to be. But you could see where the score is developing, all right? So, anencephaly is the presence of small brain tissue. And it is the basis, okay? And it is due to the failure of the rostral neural pore to close. And this leads to formation of pore or small brain tissue, okay? They have about the hydrocephalus. Um, this is hydrocephalus. Um, hydrocephalus, you can see that um, the ventricles are, uh, you can see the normal hair, uh, the normal hair, the ventricles are small. But in hydrocephalus, the ventricles swell up, okay? All right? So making the head big, hydrocephalus, um, okay? So hydrocephalus is the accumulation of CSF within the ventricular system. It bases its, its result from impaired circulation and absorption of the CSS and could be due to the congenital words, aqueductal stenosis, right? Due to maybe blockage of the aqueductal um, area of the ventricles. How about the holoprosencephaly? This is holoprosencephaly, right? And the holoprosencephaly is due to the loss of the midline in the brain, okay? Now, the lateral ventricles merge into a single chamber. The eye, feel, the eye fields fail to separate, okay? Making the individual have just one eye. I know stuff like this are very rare, though, okay? They are rare things, but they do occur, though, right? So, guys, um, I think this is um, the neuroanatomical basis for um, these illnesses, an encephaly or meroanencephaly. Um, hydrocephalus and what's holo percent cephal, all right? So, see you guys in the next. Uh, bye for now.